Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Resale CMY. It's uh, late on Sunday night and I'm here to bring you the weekend sales. It is Sunday the 10th. It's like 11, 13 at night. Um, I'm going to have to cut more trees down tomorrow at Bethany's place. So I wanted to get a, this recorded. And then if there's any uh, other sales between now and tomorrow morning, I'll just add a little clip at the end of this video. Um, I got, as you can see, I'm going to have quite a bit of shipping on my hands to get out uh, tomorrow morning. So I wanted to get a jump start on it. So here I am really late on Sunday night. Paul's down in the Outer Banks with his family. Um, I think he's going out to see if he can catch some tuna fish tomorrow. Uh, hopefully in videos to come, there's a couple of pictures of him with some big fish and stuff like that. But I hope him and his family are doing well down there. Um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I got 36 sales for $899.87. So maybe a little bit under. We try to shoot for like a thousand for the weekend. Uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but this is still really good. There's a lot of sales, a lot of different things. I think uh, not a single sale over a hundred bucks. So I think the highest was 93 and then there was a lot around like that 50 to 60 area. And then um, a bunch of smaller ones as well. So I'll just uh, adjust this camera so you guys can see the items a little bit better. And then uh, we'll get into the items right after that. All right, yeah, we're back here. A uh, little bit off center. So sorry if that's bugging everybody, but I wanna try to leave enough room for uh, screenshots. I wanna be able to hold up the item and show the screenshot simultaneously but yeah we'll just get right into it um right here this is a drill doctor drill bit sharpener right here take it out real quick so you can see what it's like what it is it's this tool right here it's a 750x model and it comes with like a dvd uh thing that holds the bits and a little wrench and it comes in this blue case both times i've picked this up at a garage sale came in this drill doctor case once i picked it up for a dollar and this past um was it friday yeah friday i went to a grad sale and picked this up for five bucks and it sold overnight for sixty dollars plus shipping and that's with noting the uh the dent in the case here so five dollars into sixty and it took no time at all to sell Another item I picked up at that garage sale. These were also five dollars each. There's two of them here. This is the 2018 RV with ATV and motorcycle. They're new in the box. I opened them up to make sure when I purchased them at that garage sale. It was actually a state sale. There was a ton of them, but I only grabbed seven of them that were all new in box, and they were all five bucks a piece. And these two right here. To, sold to the same buyer, 30 bucks a piece, so $60 plus shipping on these two right here. Um, all in all, I spent, I think, $90 at that estate sale. I got seven of those Hess trucks. Those sold for 60. I have two that are, four others that are listed for 35 plus shipping, and one that was just $20 plus shipping. I also purchased, uh, purchased that Drill Doctor that you've seen. And then I purchased a mixer that I have listed for like 130 that was uh, brand new in the box. Like a DJ, you know, audio mixer. And a bearing kit that's like listed for like 25 And uh, some walkie-talkies, some other odds and ends stuff. So I actually, for just hitting up one sale like that and spending, you know, 90 bucks. I think there's like 400 and something listed. So, you know, up here in New York, there's not a whole lot of garage sales or estate sales going on right now. So to hit one just randomly, I think I went out at like 11 o'clock on a Friday after, a, you know, I filmed the video and, and shipped a bunch of stuff. Um, to just hit one sale and make a bunch of money like that. Already in the profit selling just those few things. So that was pretty cool. All right, this next one's a pretty fun sale. This is Legos, 
Here, let me get this side. It says Legos 75021 Star Wars. Um, the interesting thing about this is Paul and I purchased this a while ago, and this sold for $50 plus shipping. And the interesting part about this is it's an empty box. We sold the empty box to this Lego for $50 plus shipping. Um, we didn't... We didn't inventory the whole thing. We ended up selling a bunch of the pieces loose. I mean, it was it might have been complete, but I wasn't about to inventory it. Um, that sold for like a hundred and something plus shipping. We sold the posters inside for like thirty plus shipping, and the instructions for like twenty or twenty five plus shipping. And this was the last holdover. This box um, ended up selling twice. And people asked to cancel the order. I think they were thinking they were getting the whole set, even though it said box only in the title. So I made sure after the second time they canceled, I put box only three times in the title. Um, someone sent an offer for $50, and I took it uh, $50 for the for just an empty box for the uh, for the Legos. It was pretty sweet for us. So, yeah, I was really happy to finally see that one go. All right, this next thing... You've seen it in previous videos. Where's the front? There it is. Pecos Bill, right here. I think it was on the Widowmaker. So Pecos Bill and Widowmaker from Melody Time, 1994. I'm off center and I'm still having no room with these bigger items. This one sold for on an offer for $55 plus shipping. And the reason I kind of went through that one kind of quick is because we sold Another Pecos bill, same exact thing, full price, $60 plus shipping. So two of these going out the door. I actually had two more upstairs, and I went upstairs to verify that they had the COA and styrofoam and all that. One did, so that's relisted for $60 now. The other one was missing um, the COA and the front styrofoam, so I'll wait for that uh, complete one to sell. And then I'll do a separate listing for the one that's missing pieces and maybe drop it like 10, 15 bucks or something like that. But yeah, it's pretty cool when these sell because it's size out the door. We purchased all these from Dan's. Um, I think we had like nine of them and we're down to just those two. Um, and that's one of these is actually one that we just picked up um, this past Saturday. We came across another one out there at Dan's. So that one's already moving out the door. I didn't get to do the haul video for that yet. But there's like 48 other WDCC sitting in my room right here. And this was the only Pecos bill though. So one more of those to go, plus uh, one that's missing some pieces. But yeah, two of these, uh, 60 and 55. This next thing here is a Funko Pop. It's Rat Fink, number 15. This also came from Dan's. So for $25 plus shipping, it's the second one. We had two of them. It's the second one to sell. Both of them sold for the same price. And we got a Pee Wee Herman uh, action figure here. This is from 1998. This is the big screen from Pee Wee's Playhouse. This sold for $8 plus shipping. This also came from Dan's house. You're going to hear us say this came from Dan's house quite a bit because we're in the middle of listing that stuff now. We were kind of bouncing around, but lately we're just kind of hammering out the totes from Dan's place and getting a bunch of that listed. Another thing from Dan's house is this Geeky Tiki. It's this, uh, I don't even know what the heck you'd call it actually. And I guess just a mug. Popeye. Pretty big mug too, you can see it next to my hand there. That ended up selling for $15 plus shipping. We got quite a few of these, just not all Popeye. I think this is the first big mug to go out the door though. Next is uh, not from Dan's. This came down from Kathy's at the $620, uh, $620 buy. This is just like this Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh kind of beanie, I guess. Not a beanie baby, but it is. Walt Disney Company. And this sold just for out on off for $2.50 plus shipping. It's one of the cheaper ones, but just to fill out the value from that deal. Uh, I think it was listed for four bucks and it had a watcher and I sent out an offer for two dollars and fifty cents Just to kind of get it moving and end up working All right, another item from Dan's and a little bit of a change of pace here. 
are these candlestick uh, holders, candle holders. They're Lennox. You can't see them. I got them all bubble wrapped here, so just pay attention to the screenshot. These also came from Dan's. Um, they ended up selling for $25 plus shipping. Had them listed for $30. Got some watchers to send out an offer, and someone came along and picked them up, or they decided to pick them up. And we got a ton of Lennox stuff, too. Not all candle holders and stuff, a lot of different ornaments. But I mean, if they even sell for a fraction of what that sold for, we're going to be making pretty good money off of that. All right, the next thing here is an action figure. This came from a buy uh, mid last summer. This one is Emperor's Royal Guard, six inch action figure from Star Wars Black Series. It's got this little piece with it here as well. This sold $14 plus shipping. All right, this came from the $1,000 haul down at Kathy's. This is one of our Marie Osmond dolls. If you've been watching our videos, you've seen us sell hundreds of these now. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. It's called Adora School Bell, nine inch doll. Our next item here going out is Funko Pop number 363. This is Luke Skywalker and Yoda. And this sold for $9, sorry about the glare, $9 plus shipping for this Funko Pop. Then we got another Pee Wee Herman going out the door here. This one is also from 1988. So I was like five when this toy came out. It's got some tears up here. It was all noted and stuff. I think there was something else that was noted too. Maybe just that and that this crease right here. But it's got his uh, scooter and his helmet and Pee Wee Herman action figure there. This sold on a 10% off sale for $21.59 plus shipping. This was uh, kind of one of my favorite sales here because I didn't think this was going to have too much value and I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Um, this is this old poo. Uh, kind of for really young kids. Tiger Electronics is why I grabbed it. It's ages two to six. It's called Pooh Counting Carrots. And uh, it's ended up selling for $35 plus shipping. The package is really faded with the color. Um, but if you open it up, uh, it's all brand new inside. The figures are sealed in plastic, all the original cardboard and everything like that. We actually got a nice message that this girl's uh, this girl's purchasing it for her grandson because her kids loved it when they were when they were young. So she decided to pick it up for uh, him as well. So I hope he likes it and uh, yeah, happy birthday birthday to that youngster. 1998. So 35 dollars plus shipping. I was happy with that one. All right, this next one here is one of the Boyd's Bears from the 620 dollar haul down at Kathy's. Second time we went down there. Pretty happy with this one. Uh, just because it's one of the larger ones going out the door. They ended up selling for $12 plus shipping. All right, our next thing here is a Marie Osmond doll. What's the name of this one here? Where is it? Where is it? Renee Tiny Tot. And this one, limited edition out of 500. And this one sold for $13 plus shipping. All right, you guys, this Popeye mug, Geeky Tiki. We're going to take that off the board. I just got a message saying that they would like to cancel this order. So that's $15 we're going to have to uh, take down and relist. That always sucks when you get one of those messages, but what are you going to do? At least it's not one of the big items. Uh, next thing here is this Funko Pop, number 22. Job of the Hut. This sold for $22.49 plus shipping. It's not a 10% off sale. All right, the next thing here is this little lot of uh, vintage magnets. Monkey, Eagle, Raggedy Ann, New Zealand refrigerator magnets. Um, was there... It's just five of them in here. And uh, they came from that $620 haul down at Kathy's. You can see them up here in the screenshot. They sold for $6 plus shipping. Came in like this. There was this big tub that had all these keychains and magnets. And anytime we have like a big... Uh, lot like that to pour through we just try to get as much value out of them we can six dollars plus shipping for those you'll see another magnet lot uh pretty soon here here's another item that just came from dan saturday something i pulled out and listed real quick 
Lily Put Lane cottage figure. Um, yeah, it just says Petticoat Cottage. Um, it's just like this little house porcelain figure, I guess you would call it. Ten dollars plus shipping for this. All right, we had two Marie Osmonds going out to the same buyer. It's a new name too, so I don't think it's someone that's purchased from us before. Nia Tiny Tot and Queen Elizabeth Rosebud. So these two right here, total twenty-one dollars plus shipping for these two. Then we got another Marie Osmond going out here. This is from the Wizard of Oz. This is Baby Glinda. This sold for twenty-two dollars plus shipping. And we got another Marie Osmond, all in order here. This is Remember Me Rose. Remember Me Rosebud. And this one sold for $7 plus shipping. All right, we got another Boyd's Bear from down at Kathy's. This is called Sissy Bear Hugs. I usually like when Paul's here to read all the Boyd's Bear names and some of the Marie Osmond names. But uh, this one right here sold for $3.50 plus shipping. Again, probably was listed for like five bucks. Hadn't got too much interest, so we just send out an offer as soon as it gets a watcher and it tends to move some of these smaller items, or not small, but like uh, less value items out the door when we do it like that. Now this next thing here is we got some vintage bedding. It's Perry Ellis Martex. It's queen fitted sheet. It's kind of got like this zebra print. You can kind of see the full, uh, if I get the glare to kind of go away. Sorry about the glare, but it is what it is. This, uh, we got a whole bunch of bedding, like vintage bedding like this, out at Dan's this past Saturday, so hopefully it all does pretty well. But this one here is sold for $16 plus shipping. This next item here came from that $100 vehicle tow we purchased. It's a 1953 Ford Crestline Sunliner. This is this little car right here, listed by Abriella for us. This sold for $7 plus shipping. Next thing we have one of our older purchases. This was from the slot car buy last year. This one here is the AFX Peterbilt Semi. This sold for $35 plus shipping. I think we have like four or five more of these too. So hopefully they all sell for 30 plus. Running out of uh, the slot cars. It's kind of sad seeing everyone, every one of them go just because that was such an awesome deal for us. This next thing here is a Terminator 3, Terminator 3, yep, T-800 Terminator action figure here. This sold for $8 plus shipping. All right, this next thing here I believe is our best sale of the day, or the weekend. This is Captain Hook, I've got you this time. You can see it there. You can see it even better in the screenshot. It's one of the Walt Disney Classic Collections. And this sold for $93 plus shipping. We have one more of these, I believe. And I think it's just missing the COA. So we'll probably drop it like 10 bucks or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is our best sale from the weekend. All right, we got another Marie Osmond here. This is Baby Miracles 2003. This sold for $15.29 plus shipping. All right, this next item here came from our buddy Mike. He works for Simmons Outdoors down in Louisiana, but he, he we graduated with him and he just lives a couple towns away. He just kind of flies or drives down there all the time to work. Uh, this is something he just had kicking around in his garage. This, uh, I read it right off the thing. Bushnell Trophy, one times 28 red dot, um, new in box. It's model 73-0131, and he gave us this. He gave us like a rail for an AR-15 and a whole bunch of uh, wheels that you attach to coolers and stuff like that. And uh, I think we're just going to give him, I think he just wants like 40-50% of everything we sell that he gives us. Um, this one right here ended up selling for $32 plus shipping. All right, here's that uh, second magnet lot I was talking about. This is just a whole bunch of mushroom magnets, all different kinds. There's glass ones in here. There's, you know, I don't even know what these are. Chalkware, some wood ones in here. 11 different mushrooms, shrooms, Paul put in the title. 
And those ended up selling for $20 plus shipping. So pretty good with the magnets, $26 off of just a bunch of stuff that you know might get overlooked. Anytime there's a lot of anything, we try to squeeze some kind of value out of it. All right, we got another WDCC going out. This is also from Peter Pan. It's a Firefly, a Pixie, amazing. It's $215 originally. Tinkerbell here. And she sold for $55 plus shipping. So that was another nice one. And then we have this Ashton Drake doll. It's got the tags on it, but the clothing on it's pretty bad. Um, it was noted and stuff. This ended up selling for, it's called My First Tooth, and it ended up selling for $8 plus shipping. This came from the same purchase of all the Marie Osmond dolls. All right, this is a pretty cool lot. Um, this is six vintage uh, Batman watches. They're actually from 1989. They're by Consort. And when we first, when I first grabbed these from there, I'm like, man, these are cool. These are from the, you know, the late 80s. But they really didn't have much value individually. So I just lotted up all six. Um, and then I put them in auction, started at $20 plus shipping. Got one extra bid, so it was $20.50 plus shipping for these six. You can kind of see them laid out in this screenshot. And I think we just have one more sale here. It's this White Diamonds Elizabeth Taylor perfume. This sold for $18 plus shipping. This also came from the $620 per buy down at uh, Kathy's down there. So that's it for the sales, you guys. Kind of sucks. Uh, during the video, I, I got a notification. I was hoping it was a live sale. Ended up being a, a live cancel my order. <laughs> But uh, I'm still happy with the sales so far. It's 11.41 now. Um, so instead of 36 sales, it's 35 sales, totaling $884.87. So that's still pretty good. Um, I'll ship this stuff, or package it all up, and I'll ship it out tomorrow. If there's any sales between now and whenever I, I think I got my alarm set for five or six in the morning. Uh, if there's any sales between now and then, I will uh, just add a little clip at the end of the video. If there's no more sales, you'll see Kennedy right after me sending me out. So thanks for watching up to this point, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed these sales. Quite a bit of variety and stuff like that. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Say resale CNY. Said, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.